Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. See, things are happening in the realm of the spirit. How many of you feel something today? My goodness. It's gonna be some, it's gonna be some something that will happen that will rock. Something is about to take place. Say this loud and clear. <laughs> Say, my hidden enemy. Say the enemy hiding inside my body. Your judgment has come. Enter fire. Do you hear the prayer? Okay, okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute it again so that all of you can hear me. Hmm. Every enemy hiding inside my body, your end has come. As I begin to pray. Enter fire. Enter fire. And be consumed by fire. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Reggae de baraka da baribia. Ilegade rebebia baribia. Reggae de rebebia baribia. Mazaga da barabara. Reggae de rebebia baribia. Zodebe de rebebeka bandaria. Ilegade de rebebeka baribia. Reggae de rebebia baribia. Ilegade de rebebeka baribia. Reggae de rebebeka baribia. Reggae de rebebeka baribia. Reggae de rebebeka baribia. Reggae de rebebeka baribia. My God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My God, Hallelujah, angels. Are parading with sword. Something is about to happen. Amen. Some of you are wondering, how come I'm just coming now? Don't worry, I've been on the altar. I've been on the altar. Thank God that. <coughs> thank God that. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, Jesus. Moses was on the mountain. Amen. And God had a priest. Hallelujah. So thank God you have. At least somebody that is lift, lifting us up before the, the heavens. Amen? Say this loud and clear. Listen to me. The little prayer we prayed yesterday. How many of you remember that prayer? Some serious prayer we prayed yesterday. And you're going to address that prayer again. There is a seed that has been planted within you. And when this seed is in your life, you begin to see yourself in strange places. You see yourself paralyzed, powerless before your enemies. You see yourself sumoed into demonic meetings. You see yourself acting like a witchcraft priest in their gathering. Amen. Just because, just because they planted something inside of you and you have no power. Sometimes this seed can be planted from childhood. So this seed is what connects you or convenes you to the demonic, to the to the demonic or to the to witchcraft. Amen. This seed can be planted in your blood. Amen. So when they are given instruction to demons, they summon you just like this. And you can appear before them. But when you have the seed of God buried inside of you, Jehovah can call you and you can appear before the heavens. Are you hearing me today? Many are suffering and going through manipulation because of this evil seed buried within us. When you destroy this seed, that company, that, that link that is connecting you with you and them, connecting you with evil forces, connecting you with that powers, will suddenly lose its hold, lose its grip of you. And you begin to walk in a common speed. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? I'm telling you, before you were born, sometimes the things that you took, sometimes the milk that you were breastfeeding on, were the things that actually polluted you. Say this loud and clear. <laughs> Say, every seed of wickedness, every evil seed, <laughs> opening me to evil powers, When you begin to pray, you will say, you that evil seed planted in me, 
I command it to catch fire. I command it to catch fire. When, the, when you begin to pray, there will be commotions in the demonic realm. The be person that initiated you, the person that gave you food to try to initiate your spirit, will suddenly will begin to somersault. Wherever they are, I'm telling you, as you begin to see, somebody will have a serious revelation today. Today, today. This dream will go straight down to Africa. Because some of you, your housemate, that was your father, did that. Stepmother did the same thing. Whatever that the enemy planted inside of you to stop your progress must be destroyed. Say this loud and clear. Say every seed of the wicked. I want you to pray heavy. Yo. Be like that fisherman that throws his hook in the water and he never knew that the fish hook will catch one of the biggest fish. Amen. This your prayer will pull out something from you that you least expect. <laughs> every seed of darkness. Every seed of evil planted in my body, trading my glory. Every seed of darkness connecting me to Satan. I pray be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Every seed of hell, every seed of hell planted in my body, I command it to be destroyed. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Oh my goodness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Zilebele baby abaradiash. Is a serious prayer to the Lord. You will pray this prayer loud and clear. Amen. Pray this prayer loud and clear. Okay. Uh, seven days ago, there's a sister here. I'm seeing Atlanta. There's a sister here. You're from Ghana. Masquerades were pursuing you. Masquerades appeared in your dream. I want you to open fire. You have been running and running, but this prayer, I want you to turn back. And when you begin to pray, you say, in the name of Jehovah, I spray the bullets of heaven. Let the bullets of heaven locate the forehead of my enemies. Are you ready for prayer? <laughs> my God. Say, my father, my father, my father. Every ancestral idol. Of my father's house appearing in my destiny. Die, 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 die by fire. Reggae the rebel, beggar, the rebel, be a bradia. It got the rubber, 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 catoria. And look at the rica, tabradorica. Every idol of my father's house, every idol of my mother's house, a guerrilla, garaka, garaka, derica. I command the idol to die. Let it die. Let it die. Let it die. Let it die. Every idol. Every idol. Every idol. I tell you my destiny. I said die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please pray this prayer loud and clear. Amen. Strange prayer. Say the demon that entered my life 10 years ago. The unclean spirit that entered my life 10 years ago. I 
as I pray. Come out from my body. Open your mouth and come down fire. Every unclean spirit again has to my life. Out, out, out. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lay your hands to your belly quickly. Lay your hands to your belly. Mogodo Bohoria, Filibande Halibi Abradish. Zodebehe, God is about to sweep like thunder. God is about to sweep his power. Moruku Subrahanda Riata, Melekazili Yavaradia, Saya, Sadebaha, Labrada Rababa Yavaradesh. Thank you, Holy Ghost, Kalaba, Librande. Some of you have not used the restroom in a long time. That is about to change. It's about to change. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I provoke the holy oil. I provoke the holy oil. Magada Bahaya Brade. Spirit of God. Likrot Obriata La Badilia. Zenevo Zurika Tabrahanda. Lord, we activate the sword of deliverance. Let the sword of God begin to appear in every home, in every home. The word of God comes uh, and is quick, sharper than the two edges sword. Father, I release uh, a, a double edged sword of deliverance. Let the fire of God begin to break out uh, in every home. Uh, in the name of Jesus, every soul, uh, every destiny under demonic captivity, under demonic control, under demonic witchcraft, in the name that is above every other name, uh, you came to save. The captives free, every captive on that demonic captivity. I'll pull you out by the blood. I'll pull you out by the blood. In the name of Jesus, I come against her. Every marriage spirit, I come against her. Familiar spirit, I come against her. Cotton spirit, I come against you. Witchcraft spirit in the body, in the belly. Every witchcraft spirit, I tear you by the blood. I tear you by the blood. Every unclean spirit hiding in the body, spirit of oppression. Spirit of affliction in the name of Jesus. I pull you out from that body. I pull you out from that body. Let the fire of God invade your body now. Every evil seed in your body. I kill them with fire. I destroy them with fire. I destroy them with fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. It's coming upon you. You feel like yearning in the name of Jehovah as you lay your hands upon your belly. Every stranger see your body. It is written, the stranger shall be afraid. Afraid out of their close places. Every unclean spirit hiding in your body that entered your life. Through sex, through food, uh, hey, when you were sleeping, in the name of Jehovah, even in your dreams, uh, every unclean spirit, uh, I charge you, come out and lose that vessel, lose her by fire, in the name of Jesus, as lay your hands to your belly, I come on fire, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, fresh fire, purge your belly with fire, every poison in the belly, I purge it out with fire, I purge it out with fire, I purge it out right now, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. And every destiny of this prayer line on Periscope that has been tied down, I have tied you by the blood. I have tied you by the blood. I engage the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let the chain of anti progress, the chains of anti marriages, every anti evil chains over your life. I break that chain now and I command your ego to begin to fly. I release your destiny by the power in the Holy Ghost. Zedebahari Aparos. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Jesus. Holy Ghost. Right now, all those hearing me, all those hearing me right now, let fresh fire come upon your prayer line. I activate you now. I release and I break and I dismantle. I destroy the spirit of heaviness over you right now. Right now, right now. The evil cloud rose away. That evil spirit in your house. I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. Let the angels of God begin to minister to you. Yes, Lord. Fresh unction. Fresh fire. Global tongues of fire. Begin to sit upon your head. Begin to sit upon your head. Begin to sit upon your head. I bind the spirit of confusion. Open your mouth. 
Le braca sopra ha. Perché tu chiedi in glory. Perché de baha ya bradish. Manda baha le bibi a bradish. Se de baha raba baka sanda baha. Libra na rebe beka beri bibi a bradish. Manga da baraka da rebe bibi a bradish. The chains of delay. The chains of backwardness. Every chain of the enemy. It breaks today. It breaks today. It breaks this morning. It breaks this morning. It breaks this morning. In the name of Jesus. Ikabarada, spirit of Asmodi. You Asmodi spirit. Lose the brother. Lose the verses of God. Lose the sense of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bind and I command you to lose. Lose our destiny by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you feel something strange happening with you now? Something strange. Something strange. It is the Spirit of God coming upon you. Let the clarity of God come upon you now. Lord, we give you the praise. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. Everything to us. Kale Balabado. Everybody get your Bible. Psalm 27. I want us to read Psalm 27 in tongues. If you can't pray in tongues, just read it in English. Psalm 27. Okay, before 27, let's read Psalm 31. Psalm 31. It's always very powerful when you pray in tongues with the scriptures. <laughs> Psalm 31, verse 1. Let's go. In tongues. Everybody got their Bible? Let's go. In you, O Lord, do I put my trust? Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in my righteousness. In the righteousness. For again. For thou, Libranda Rebebia, at my rock, my fortress. Therefore, for my name's sake, for thy name's sake, Elaba, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have lived privily for me. Regada Bahari, Libranda Rebebega Baradia. Regada Rebebe Rebebega Berebe Rebebia. Ilegada Rebebe Rebebega Berebia. Alla Bragada Rababa Rababa Gabandia. I regada Rebebe Rebebega Berebia. Oh, Lebre de Rebebe Rebebe Gabia. I Rababa Rebebe 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 Gabia. Ilegada Rebebe Rebebe Rebia. I Ragada Rebebe Rebebe Gabe Rebebe Rebebia. A Rababa Gabanda Rebebia. A Rababa Rebebe 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 Gabe Rebebia. Da Rebebe 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 Yabradi. A Rebebe Rebebe Gabe Rebebe Yabrebia. A Rababa Rebebe Rebebe Gabanda Rebebia. A Rebebe Rebebe Gabe Rebebe Rebebe Gabe Rebebia. Oh, Rebebe Yabra Rebebia. A Lebre de Rebebe 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 Yabradia. Thank you, my father. Zikata Bahari Dehish. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Singing hymns. Amen. Hallelujah. Reading the book of Psalms. Hallelujah. That is what we are supposed to do. 
in order to grow spiritually. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving. And oh no, power and mind belong to our God forever and ever. Amen. Now lay your hands upon your head. I don't know why you, that brother, you have been falling asleep lately. Falling asleep strangely. You just fall asleep. You just fall asleep. You're driving, you're falling asleep. It seems like you're so tired. Your spirit is heavy. As you lay your hands upon your head. See, every anointing of the wicked. To slow me down. By the reason of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It is an abuse on grace. To think that you can be lying down. Full of strength in the flesh. To prevail your strength in the physical. Every soldier undergoes discipline. Every soldier undergoes discipline. And an anointed man with a sleeping church makes no progress. A powerful church with a sleeping pastor can revive the pastor. But a, church, a pastor on fire with a lukewarm church will end up frustrating the man of God. Hallelujah. Some of you have made your bed an altar. You don't even know that when you are heavy, you think you're just tired. It's the spirit that doesn't want you to prevail. When Jacob prevailed against an angel, he was sitting. He was standing. There was no chair. Even if it was a sedan, it's on, it's on, it would be on a stone, which is not comfortable. Many of us are so comfortable early in the morning. You want to wrestle with God? Stand up and address your day. The Muslims, they bow. They do exercise. They stand up, they get on their knees. Stand up, get on their knees. Stand up, get on their knees. It's the only way prayer men and women that don't have stamina. And the ones that chooses to prevail, God usually stand with them. Hallelujah. Your journey, your pathway to greatness, you must face your giants. You must confront the beast of Ephesus. You must be a man that prevails in prayer. If you can prevail with an angel, you can prevail with any demon in your locality. Hallelujah. If you enter the prayer line, you didn't enter the prayer line because you want to enter, enter the prayer line. You didn't enter here because of your problems. In fact, your problems, hallelujah, that God allowed the devil to give to you, 
These are testings to qualify you for a greater anointing. If you survive the battles and the devils of yesterday, you will always walk in greater height with God. Are you hearing me today? Somebody, somebody write that. If you can survive the battles of yesterday, if you can survive the demons of yesterday, then you are qualified for your future. Then you are qualified for your throne. Listen to me. David became the greatest king anointed three different times because he was able to, to, to gather courage to go after Goliath. I don't know the journey God is preparing you. I don't know the battle that God is preparing you. I don't know the anointing that God has given to you that is hidden within you. The mystery, the mysterious anointing. When God has put a solid anointing in your life, the first thing that the enemy will project into you is the spirit of fear. Fear will cause you to undermine who you are. Amen. Hallelujah. Fear will cause you to be a, an ego that is hiding. Hallelujah. Like Gideon. Like Gideon. And God had to activate an angel to bring Gideon the good news. And say, listen to me. Because of you, many people are suffering. Because of your fear, the Israelites are suffering. How can you be treasuring the weeds? How can you be hiding? Get up yourself. That mighty man of valor. I'm speaking to some of you today. You have been oppressed left and right. And all you need is that extra bonus, that demon, that agent of Satan that is appearing in your dream. I'm hearing the Lord. If you can dedicate three days of fasting every other weekend, three days of fasting every other weekend, that Goliath, you will, you will destroy the Goliath. And all the wealth of the wicked it, over, uh, in, that belongs to your uncle, that he has captured the virtues of your family, will be released onto your life. Are you hearing me today? <laughs> I see tables. I see mantles being released. I hear the Lord say something is about to happen for somebody. <laughs> mm. You are a man here. You are a man here. But you are like David. You seem so young. But others are which were what in your family are educated, grown up. Amen. Educated, grown up. But this beast is on is this beast seems to ignore all of them and come to you. And he has been confronting you. For over four years now, so you've been seeing this revelation in your dream. Confronting you, confronting you, confronting you. Listen to me. It's an, it's an revelation that God has anointed you to deal with that devil. Deal with that bastard. So more courage. So more courage. Read the books of great men of God. Hallelujah. When I took the book and the autobiography of Maurice Cerullo, I discovered that his life was full of battles. Full of battles right from he never had super plus or surplus financially. But guess what? After he's conquered, he's not in a place of rest. Amen? In a place of rest that even though he's old now, the plane is given to him. Prosperity on every side. But when you read his story, right from when he was young, you will see battles, complications. Uh, amen? Hallelujah. Stigma. Uh, he was being stigmatized on every side. Amen? I mean, just frustrations. When I read this book, I put the book down. I said, God, what is it? I remember I cried one day without knowledge. And I said, God, make me a general. And I said it to one great man of God, who is a close associate of Maurice Cerullo. Five years ago, when I said, I said, I, I, I said about seven years ago, I said, sir, he's a, he's, a, he's a Spanish pastor. Sir, I want to be a general for the law. He said, are you ready? Are you ready for what you're asking for? Because, you know, there are two things of a general. You'll be used by God mightily, but you will suffer much tribulations. Amen? God will take you down. You will go through every rankings. Hallelujah. And that is why people who call themselves apostles are not apostles until you have been a teacher, until you have been a pastor, until you have been an evangelist, until you have exercised in every role. God cannot just call you to just be a prophet. No. Jesus operating in all five offices. Hallelujah. Five offices. Amen. And I want you to understand that sometimes the, the people in Pakistan said, Oh, man of God, what is your title? What is your title? What can we call you on? I said, Listen, my mission in my mission is not a pastor. If you call me a pastor, I will manifest that of a pastor. If you call me a prophet, I will, I will manifest that of a prophet. But my assignment is an evangelist. If I'm coming to Pakistan, it's an evangelistic work I'm coming to do. So that is my mission, to win souls, to win souls. And, and people look at it as a privilege, as a title, as a post. No. 
Amen. It's just a description of your what God will do through you to the kingdom of God that will be manifested in a grand star. Hallelujah. If people begin to say, Oh, what do you do? Basically, my recall from the Lord is intercession. Intercession. But when I come, if I come to if I come to minister to you, the Lord can choose to use me in a different way. If God begins to use me to see into your life and prophesy, it is the spirit of God upon me. I'm not asking for that anointing, I'm asking for Jesus. And as long as Jesus is in your life, he will choose to manifest in different ways. Hallelujah. He can manifest. When God, Jesus began to manifest in, Philip, in the life of Philip, what happened? He took Philip. He took Philip. Carried him by the spirit. Enoch. And appeared to the eunuch. And the eunuch was reading the word of God. And he, he, he lacked understanding. But this man showed up and began to interpret the mysteries. Begin to tell him what God is saying. What God is saying. How God how, begin to open his eyes, and the man says, Please baptize me. What is that ministry? It's the evangelistic ministry. Right there. Not the prophetic evangelistic ministry. Hallelujah. He has appointed what? The apostles, the prophets, for the what? The perfecting of the saints. Hallelujah. If God send you as a voice, go to that place. My son, I'm ordaining you. Go over there, go and root, go and destroy. That is an office of a prophet. Another time he can take you again to something else. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. What the world of God wants us to do in this season as we prepare ourselves. Be on fire. Somebody say be on fire. Hmm. Gather all the sticks and infuse yourself with fire. Be so dedicated and focused. Marry yourself to Jesus. Inflame yourself with fire. I love fire so much. Because everywhere there is fire. Fire purifies. Fire burns every kind of nonsense. When the fire of God is upon you so much, if you want to talk, anyhow. By the time you open your mouth, anyhow, fire will consume. Anyhow, whoever it is. Hallelujah. You can misbehave in fire and you can still be, be right. You can, you can talk anyhow. But under fire, when the fire is being released, you will see people manifest. Back in the days when we were in school, I had my Christian brothers who were so on fire. I pray for one hour, they will pray for three hours. I pray for three hours, they will pray for seven hours. Uh -uh. Sometimes, even during break, you see some of them praying behind the church. What is food? Praying behind the church. And I looked, I said, I'm the, I'm the prayer leader. You guys calm down. Then I saw this brother who is among the prayer team begin to lose weight, lose weight, lose weight. I said, what are you doing? He said, he's doing five days dry fast. No water, no food. I said, what is this? Me, I said, ah, I'm going to fast myself. Of course, I could not do it till I came to America. But there is what they call holy challenge. Provoking and sharpening each other in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Some of us on the prayer line go with so much provoke us to a place of prayer, to a place of, that will stay on our mountain, that our house become a mountain. Our office become a mountain. A mountain top of the Holy Ghost. Whereby angels enter your office. Because they want you to wrestle. They want you to begin to bargain the destinies of nations and cities. Hallelujah. Amen. Something will happen. Listen to me. Why witches are empowering themselves with sacrifice. We ourselves. Let's empower ourselves on this prayer line. Amen. Let us drink fire. Let us talk fire. Let's be empowered with fire. Hallelujah. None on this prayer line shall be barren. Nobody on this prayer line shall be barren. If you choose to walk anyhow, the hand of God will guard you and protect you. As long as you belong to this prayer line, Jehovah, 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 we frustrate every agenda of the flesh. If you are in this prayer line and you really want to sin against God, let the Lord close that door against you. And God puts you in a place of righteousness. Let the hand of God uphold you, uphold you from falling in the name of Jesus Christ. God will begin to put the mysteries, the scrolls of heaven into your belly. You will drink, you will eat, you will eat the banquet of the Lord. There is a special relationship that God will entrust to some of us. Are you hearing me today? God is telling me and telling me, say son, tell your people to get ready, gather themselves together. Because I will begin to instruct them when to fast. Some of you individually, God will begin to commune with you. Say, son, come up higher. Daughter, come up higher. 
I'm preparing you. Utter. You, you will begin to burn with fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Strange revelations. The spirit of cancer will begin to cancel it individually. Each of you, each of you, each of you. Mande Kozaba raised this. My Gidia Kazuzavara de Yabradish. Legged the Berebebe Kaba. You will pray so much that even witches will not even try to call you to summon your spirit. Amen? Now, listen to me. R write this down. Write this down. When you leave the prayer line, 12 a.m., don't go to any prayer line. Just pray this prayer. Write it down. Hmm. Say, every wicked personality, that's a prayer point, every wicked personality representing me in the dark world. Every what is a personality? You know what they say? Double personality. Now you are praying now. Then all of a sudden you begin to see yourself in the demonic places. And you don't even know if that is you. Some people will tell you that, oh, I see you in that demonic place. Says who? That person, you don't know that person. But that person is representing you. Demonic personality. Hallelujah. Write it down. Every demonic personality representing me in demonic on demonic altar representing me in witchcraft coven i command that wicked personality to catch fire i command that wicked personality to torment my enemies you read that prayer Hallelujah. 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 Write this prayer too. Say the throne of wickedness. The throne of wickedness that I occupy in the spirit. The throne of wickedness representing me in the spirit. Let it be destroyed with fire. The throne of wickedness representing me in the spirit be destroyed with fire. The third one. Every satanic invitation to dark places. Wicked powers inviting me to dark places. Satanic invitation. Satanic invitations against my life and my family. Be disappointed, be interrupted in the name of Jesus. Any witch that has been invited to any witchcraft coven, by this prayer, they will be arrested in the air, suspended. Hindered, opposed. Hmm. Their powers will be downsized. Hallelujah. Caged. Somebody traveling like a lion. Somebody traveling like a cat will suddenly be arrested. Subdued in the spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. How can you sleep with your husband or your wife? You wake up, your, your wife is in a different position. You just change the bed before they come back to their body. And you will see reactions in the spirit. Hallelujah. Did you write those ones down? Hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me open the word of God. Let's share something. Leva kabarado shandabahas. Mendele beke beli abrodos. Thank you, my father. You are wonderful. Ah, I wasn't writing it down. No. Can somebody, uh, Joe, do you, were you writing it down? Okay, can you repeat it for them, please?
If you can write anything down, you can also put it on your phone. Test it to yourself. I am to write anything down. You can test it on your phone. Okay, I take it on the phone. Yes. Okay, Amen. sure you spend time arresting that evil personality the evil personality that's been married to you amen that cajoles pulls controls you bind that spirit out of your strength paralyze and make that personality impotent from operating are you hearing me and even the witches cannot control you as long as you paralyze it <laughs> you pray so hard one time and there was a particular lady who told me, because I was praying in the car, and this lady was, was heavy. She was trying to sleep in the house, in her house. And the next day, at that time I was sleeping, I slept in the car. When I did some serious prayer, I didn't sleep in the car, I was doing all night prayer. She told me, she said, she was, a, a, a big woman came and sat on her. And she was trying to come out of her body. And she doesn't know what happened. This big, it's like this big woman just sat on her and i was laughing because why it was a it was the spirit of god that arrested her listen to me it's not your choice even if you don't want to come out from your body the devil manipulates people and pulls them to dark places when you pray this prayer you will see you will see some things tonight in the name of jesus christ Many things will happen in this prayer line. Hallelujah. Some of you, I see a scroll and the books of God, even upon you right now. There are books in your belly. Books in your belly. Every man has a message to this generation. Every man has a revelation, a message, a word to this generation. Every man has been given a scroll. Every man has been given a language. But when the powers of darkness covers a man, even the man will become voiceless in his generation. A man becomes speechless. And the only reason why people bypass, hallelujah, amen, the only reason why people bypass you, the only reason why people ignore you is because the little deposit that God has placed inside of you has not been discovered. Amen? On this prayer line, God is asking me to help everyone discover that grace. Tap into that oil that is inside of you. You will begin to function in a greater mighty way. Whatever veil that is appearing as darkness, whatever veil that is appearing upon your destiny will be choked and destroyed. Whatsoever is converting you to be paralyzed, disabled in the spirit whatsoever force is disabling the spirit it shall be broken it shall be broken it shall be broken in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the stubborn hidden lion that is inside of you will prevail in the name of jesus christ hallelujah somebody's asking for the number again hallelujah 
Monto pokotolia pari de ribibios. Zeleme de lebe kapa. Somebody help me pose that number again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatsoever has arrested, afflicted, oppressed anyone on this prayer line, today we dismantle, we destroy it with fire in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Zaleba Labaya. The prayer line number again is 952 955 9454. Hallelujah. 952 955 9454. Listen to me. It is going to be brutal season. I want us to start preparing ourselves. Amen. Because the level of evil that the enemy is preparing in this month of October, amen, hmm, cannot supersede the grace that God has, is making available. Listen to me. I'm seeing a sister. <laughs> Baro Zachary Katalia Badelia. Ile Bondolio. I won't call your first name. I call your middle name. Dollar, dollar, dollar. The fire that is God is about to release upon you. I see fire God is about to release upon you. It will sit upon you. I see fire is about to sit on dollar. God is about to release fire, fire upon your head. God is about to release fire upon your spirit. God is about to release fire in your belly. I see fire coming upon a sister called dollar, dollar. Something, something, something massive. Something massive is about to come upon you. That spirit of fear will be broken. Listen to me. It will come to the time whereby witches will be scared of you. Because God is about to anoint you with fresh fire. I see that grace coming upon you. I don't know. <clears throat> but I hope this sister is on this prayer line. I'm saying it again. Sister called dollar, 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 dollar. I see grace. Hand of God is going to come upon you in this season. I'm hearing the Lord says, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Katepa paro sabaharias mendele beka pia pradosh zeneve dele via prando rebebia paradia gede mandele bo sabala badilia there is a divine authority there is a divine grace be released even as we speak in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ i see god in katu prata zadaria talamandelia elebele beke peleata regede bando shada mandeli bibia suza bai rekato pata matali kataya elena mando zavanda labadosh Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Re para shada bahara kados. Elevan de lebo mosondolis. Hmm. 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 The next fast that your pastor will do in your church, in your family, in your family, there is an uncle that is going to pass away. This is to a sister. In Atlanta, a sister in Atlanta, Sipway. The next fast thing that your church will do, get engaged. Get engaged. Get engaged. The evil judgment that the Lord allowed the enemy to carry on and to carry on is just to build you up. But I'm seeing an expiring date. Something is about to snap from your spirit. Something is about to snap from your spirit. Leka zunda para kande frandist. Jedebe rekedilia. That chain that was put upon your ego is breaking, breaking, breaking. God is releasing you in the name of Jesus Christ. Monteve de beka para de dias. Lay your hands upon your head. You spirit of headache. You spirit of insomnia. You spirit of witchcraft. Targeting that mind. I break that force now. I destroy that force now. By the power in the Holy Ghost. I destroy that force now. Three ladies, that your menstruation is under demonic manipulation. I break that manipulation by the power in the Holy Ghost. Every ancestral manipulation over your menstruation, in the name of your blood. I break that manipulation. I destroy that manipulation by the power. In the Holy Ghost, Sakabara, Mendeliva Lavadesh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is pouring a new and fresh hunger upon you, Dolor. God will make you so hungry. Hungry, 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 hungry. Kolebelebebe Abaratos. Menderebebe Rebebe Abarakazandoros. Ooh. I don't know who that sister is, Elena. You just you just joined us now. Elena. The season of drought is over. The season of drought that you've experienced is coming to an end. 
God is pouring upon you the spirit of intercession. God, I see God pouring upon you the spirit of intercession. The heaviness is being lifted. And I'm seeing a new level of grace. It's almost like you are being pursued by the heavenlies. You're going to have strange visitations from God. Get his journal prepared. Because as you are hearing this word, God is, is fixing you up to begin to write encounters that God will start bringing to your spirit. It will seem like they call you prophetess, but these mysteries has been connected to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let the hand of God appear upon your people. Upon your people now. Upon your people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Ezekiel 36. Ezekiel 36. Hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 36. Hmm. 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 Oh boy, oh boy. Kalabarolo Shadabaha. Hmm. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me say this to you. Some of you have come under severe attacks in the past few days. Amen? Past few months. You've been under severe attack. You are in a place of refreshing now. Hallelujah. The Lord seriously said to me, make a covenant with me. A new covenant. Because of my people. In life, and in, in every nation, God is always seeking a man that will pay a price. A price to come up to the mountain to meet with God. To meet with God. Some of you that has been going and experiencing the bread of affliction, the Lord is wanting me to tell you that it's coming to an end. Total end. There is a season when the affliction comes and progresses just to grow you up in God. But the wilderness season in your life is coming to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a fresh word from Elohim that God is releasing in this season. Get yourself ready. Prepare yourself. Put yourself together. Hallelujah. Some of you need to go back to the spa. It's been a long time. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, Baraka Zambarando Rebebios. Go and get yourself ready. Go and beautify yourself now. Some of you, it's been a long time since you went to... Went, so you went to do your facial to do your what foot spa or your feet what do you call that <laughs> somebody help me what do you call that again hallelujah glory to god amen what do you call that pedicure pedicure and manicure some of you need to go back now and go do it because i see that sister that called me because you were lacking financially. And you gave. And you begin to see your dreams. God begin to change things in your dream. In the next seven days. In the next seven days. In the next seven days. God is about to release a massive breakthrough in your life. Financially. Massive breakthrough in your life. I release that word in the name of Jesus Christ. God is changing your season in the name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Hallelujah. Somebody received that word? Somebody received that word? Hmm. Hmm. Verse 23, Ezekiel 36. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them, and the heathen shall know that I am the Lord says the lord when i shall be sanctified in you before their eyes 
God is about to sanctify. You that sister that just responded, amen. Prepare yourself when you come to New York. You and your husband, prepare yourself when you come to New York. Because there is going to be a serious impartation. A feeling of the Spirit of God will come upon you. There's going to be a strange mantle that when it comes upon you, somebody will die. Somebody will die that has been connected, who has been using your glory for their benefit. When the fire falls, it's judgment. But if when God, after judgment, comes the glory of God. There is a vessel, a vessel that everyone carries. And in that vessel lies the treasures that brings deliverance to humanity. When that vessel is arrested, you become paralyzed physically. It seems like you have no, nothing to offer. But God has said in this season, the next 40 to 50 days, hallelujah, in the next 40 days, this hidden vessel will be released, will be, will be broken and the hidden treasures will come forth. I'm saying this. I know many of you don't know me in the past, but some of you who know who I am, you know when God speaks through me. The God is changing your season of wilderness. Just like God rescued Jesus and took him to his future out of Nazareth. God is bringing you forth in this season. Hmm. When his word came, God began to dramatically change his life for God. Montelema Sundabadabahas. Something happened. When the ark of God fell, Uzzah stretched forth his hands to save the ark. And the Bible says, immediately Uzzah gave up the ghost, died. Because when God is doing something, don't interrupt it. When the ark of God and the glory is coming down, don't be on the way, don't step. In the way if you stay on the way you get crushed and every man trembled the fear of god was released because they saw the raw power and the judgment of god being released and david thought in his heart hallelujah hallelujah david thought in his heart who else can we give this ark to? And they saw a man called Obededom. And they took the ark of God and they brought the ark. And when they brought the ark of God to their house, something happened. Something happened. The Bible says Obededom in three months exploded, became so blessed. Because with the ark of God carries the presence of God. And when his presence enters your house, the seasons of dryness comes to an end. If the Lord permits the ark of God in any man of God, and the ark of God in any believer, if the Lord permits the ark to enter your house, the grace that, enter, that, the grace that comes into you, into your life, will never be the same. 
Hallelujah. 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 I release a fresh unction of the Spirit of God. I release a fresh unction of the fire of God upon you. I release a, a, the anointing to destroy the yoke of setback. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. God is going to pour clean water upon you. God is going to purge you. He's going to sanctify you. He's going to cleanse you. Amen. These, the, the dreams of evil or the dreams of the valley is coming to an end. There's going to be an encounter that you're going to start experiencing. The Lord Jesus told me this. He said, some of you will start experiencing heavenly encounters. Heavenly encounters. Glory encounters with him. If you can believe this world, you will see the reality in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you for what you are doing in our lives. Thank you for this great assignment. Thank you for this privilege. Now breathe upon us now. Breathe upon our mind, our souls, our spirit. Right now, let there be clarity upon their thoughts. Right now, I release the hand of God upon them. Let the evil veil be set ablaze. Let your holy hunger, hunger for your word, hunger for your spirit, hunger for worship, hunger for intimacy with you, come upon us now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The chains of delays are breaking from your life. Whew. You are a lady. You Right now, as I'm talking now, God is putting upon you. You are a songwriter. A songwriter. God is tearing again that grace. He's awakening it up now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lebrando Sabrandi. Silvia Prados. Jesus. Get ready for what is about to happen in New York. Get ready. Because God is planning something that is undescribable. Including myself. Everyone will be ushered to another level in glory. God is going to make some grace available that every body will be lifted to another height in God. When the Lord says, come up higher, it's because he wants to release something fresh. Something fresh. T-shirts will be made available. T-shirts will be made available for this event. Foot washing. Hallelujah. And you'll be specially anointed with God by the Lord. The glory army. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless everyone. Today is Friday. Amen. Today is Friday. Have a time whereby you commune with Him. Amen. If the Lord asks you to pay tithe to this ministry, go ahead. If the Lord wants you to sow a seed, make sure you go ahead. But make sure you hear from God. And let the Lord remember you with his grace and his favor. As you be a blessing to this ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Let me quickly pray for you so we go. So we go from here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, everyone on this prayer line. In spite of their pain. In spite of their suffering. In spite of their affliction. Father, let mercy be released upon them now. Let your special grace, a special hunger, a special fire you've prepared, you've prepared for us. Let it be released upon every listener in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of God, let every complications, oppressions, depressions be destroyed now. I'm asking that the fire of your spirit will be released and you will ignite your prayer altar in every life. Let the vessels of greatness be activated. Let let the alabaster box that shields this hidden glory in them be shattered and let them come forth. 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 In the name of Jesus. Zeparo Sondoboho Salabadelia. Mente de Denimia Katu Salabadelia. Jesus. 
Jesus. May dollar, your destiny is about to change. My God. I'm still hearing by the Spirit of God. Mm, tell her to get ready. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. I'm so excited. I don't know why the Lord will allow it in November. I'm so excited. Amen. God bless everyone today. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm going to open the prayer line. If anybody needs to say something, let me know quickly. Hallelujah. Anything quickly. Hallelujah. Yes. Go ahead. The WhatsApp number because we are in. You need the WhatsApp number? We need the WhatsApp number. Okay. It's 952. 952, the WhatsApp number? 952. What? 952. 955. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, 612. Please test it on uh, 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 Periscope too. 612 701 5983. 612 701 5983. Can you write this on Periscope too? Okay. Hallelujah. That's the WhatsApp number. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Before the what was the instruction that was given to us before the end of this year? What do we, do we need to do before the end of this year? Somebody? You can you can't even remember. We said before the end of this year, everyone should be able to present one soul to Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Somebody say one soul. Even if you are, if you don't know how to win a soul, just invite them to the prayer line. Invite them to the prayer line. God will change your soul. You know what it means to win a soul. It's not. It's not that I'm just about saying, Lord Jesus, I love you. Everybody keeps saying, Lord Jesus, I love you. It's more than that. Your soul comprises with your mind, your will, and your emotions. When your will has been turned towards the devil, when your will has been turned to serve the devil, when your will has been turned to, has been manipulated, your mind, your emotions is under the captivity of the devil. Even if you love the Lord, but you're under demonic captivity, it means that your soul has not been won. When God wins your soul, it means that you, God, God uses your, your will, your mind, your emotion for his gospel. So now, People are under demonic captivity because they can't control their will. But now when you invite them and you say, come to the prayer line, the evil captivity, the evil oppression breaks from their life. And guess what? When they begin to walk in obedience, you have won their soul for Christ. Are you hearing me? When they begin to come into liberty, you've won their soul for Christ. You've converted their soul to live right. You've liberated their soul from demonic captivity. So please... If you can send a text, it's very easy. One, two, three people, invite them to the prayer line. Be busy about the Father's work. He that winning soul is wise. Even if it's your enemy, give them the prayer line. Go and change the color of their heart and make it gold. Are you hearing me? Hmm. In the next, when you are coming, this event, prepare yourself because there's strange mantles. That God told me that will be released, activated in everyone. The mantles of the Spirit of God. This conference is going to be like nothing other. What God is trying to prepare us, is trying to prepare us for the battle that is about to take place in 2018. Many events have been scheduled for this date. I did not pick this date. The, the host pastor picked up this date. 10th, 11th, and 12th is a special date that many great servants of God are ministering in this same time. Maurice Cerullo is ministering around this time. 
Sadu, my prophet, my father, is ministering in Nigeria at that same time. Um, Rehabonke is ministering at that same time. Last Crusade is going to be ministering before he retires. That same period, 11th and the 12th. And you know, my birthday is September 12th. 12 is my number. My shoe size is 12. Everything about me is 12. That is the grace that is about to take place. Don't miss this schedule. 10th, 11th, and 12th. God is releasing a special mantle on the earth. The Elijah and the Moses anointing. It's going to be something like never. You will, you will be metamorphosized. You will be changed radically from glory to glory. You will need that fire to go into 2018. Many people are wondering what happened in Las Vegas. People are saying maybe it's Hillary. People are saying all kinds of stuff. If you ask me, I think some of these guys were well trained in, in Russia. If you ask me, this guy, Putin, is withdrawing some of his soldiers from Syria. Only God knows why he's withdrawing his army now. Okay, this is not to scare you. Things are happening very quick in America. A lot of things are happening now. Last year alone, it was said that gays adopted over 40,000 kids to father. Over 40,000 children adopted them to be fathers. To, to be their fathers. Gays. Both men, both women. And the devil is just polluting children in a massive rate. And that's why, that's why God, you see, for every Moses, the devil will always raise some false, false, pharaoh-like wise men that can also do similar magics. That is why get ready for an unction, for an impartation that is great. Listen to me. Before the end of this year, the devil gave many, many, many of his members mandates to go and initiate people. He gave them some power. Go and give, put it in food. Go to the salon. Go and initiate women. Get their hair. Get their star. Many people who are in the women's salon, many of them have been given a mandate. <laughs> hey, Jesus, are you hearing me today? Amen. Obedience is needed from everyone. The devil is spreading his wings. In restaurants, agents of the devil has been receiving as commissioned to plant stuff in food, different foods. Those who go to go braid their hair, they have been commissioned to pollute destinies and hair, different hairs. Brazilian hair, all kinds of stuff. The devil is on the rampage. And we believers are relaxing. Hallelujah. Relaxing. Lying down, watching, watching our Christian shows, Christian prayers, and we just pray psychedelically while the devil is boldly reinforcing and is moving because his time is short. Because if wickedness can be practiced in your heart through witchcraft, you'll be cut short from his glory and obedience with God. God is also preparing his soldiers, his warriors, that the spirit of righteousness, holiness will come upon you, that the siege of the enemy over your life it breaks. Some of you have not had a man of God lay hands on you, but every time you go to salon, twice a month, three times a month, you have strange hands laying hands on you, imparting to you, not in prayer, but the pastor prays for you once every six months, once every four months. Make yourself available to receive the mantles of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I look back, I thank God for the impartation of Benny Him that baptized me in River Jordan. He prayed for me several times. Duncan Williams, a day boy. Dr. Lukoya prayed for me four times, one on one. Maurice Cerullo, great man of God. When they prayed for me, and I'm, uh, Pastor Kumui, 
and believing that in the name of Jesus Christ, that when we meet, mantles will be released and activated. God will lift you to another grace, another dimension in your spirit. Do that, my God. It is well. 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 Listen to me. For every sacrifice that you do, it's not to me. God sees the sacrifice. Whether I pray or not, when you show up, God visits you because you honor His word above His name. Hallelujah. You honor His word above His name. Calivado or somebody else does. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When David was anointed, David received something to overcome the enemy that was coming. God anointed him, he overcame Goliath. Anointed him, every, every, every anointed was to prepare him. Hallelujah. God bless everyone today. And thank you for making it a day, a time to join us. Hallelujah. The fire will keep you. The fire will keep you burning in the name of Jesus. My sister from Virginia, I prayed for you for victory. 571, I prayed for you that God will empower you and grace you with a grace and unction like never before. And that which was stolen from your life, God is restoring it back in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let me can I unmute. Glory be to God. In Jesus' name. Any other, any any other thing before we go? Amen. Before we share the grace. Hallelujah. All right. Let's go. Can we share the grace? The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, bless God Almighty. Amen. Amen. After we touch in New York, after we come back from overseas, Amen. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm also praying, I'm looking at the dates for India. Uh, Pakistan comes in February, but I'm looking at the date of India. I might have to move the date of in, in, the Indian trip. Hallelujah. Well, because, because I'm seeing that uh, momentum is building for um, uh, um, uh, Pakistan. Strongly, strongly. The people are wanting us to come in, 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 in February. Amen. Hallelujah. So many things is to happen. Hallelujah. So, um, my God, my God. I'm, I'm believing God that um, the next event we'll be in atlanta amen we'll be in georgia i'm just praying that the lord will open supernaturally so that we can come forcefully and begin to manifest what god wants us to do amen, amen. somebody excited for that amen. <laughs> Jesus. Amen. amen hallelujah well god bless you guys amen hallelujah amen, amen. god loves you and we'll talk amen. again text me text me amen. anything that is wrong all right love you guys now bye bye amen. Amen. Bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Joe. Thank you, Pastor Joe. Oh, God bless. Thank you, Brother Joe. God bless you. God bless everyone. God bless you. 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 Bye. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. This is Tiway. I know. I know your voice. Okay. Can I call you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Bye. 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 Mwah. Love you guys. Have a blessed day. Hey, have a blessed day. God bless you. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I love you guys now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bye-bye.